every single time. Every, you've been doing this show for seven years, you're in my shot every no, single time. We always start out sort of chitter chattering. You mean and gossiping then, is what you whoa, mean. Yeah. And then the camera comes on and I see myself, I'm like, oh. That's ooh. right, here we go. <laughs> Why am I even bothering to do this? It's one of the healthiest things you can eat, but salads, let's be honest, can get a little boring, especially in winter when you don't have access to a lot of freshly grown stuff. Joining me today with a pair of delicious winter salads is the host of Taste Buds on Fox Local, the Emmy Award winning Stephanie Hansen. Hi, Hi friend. Hello. How are you doing? I am um, good. Now, well, you're not really good. You're well, not really good. We got to talk first. Uh, uh, about my before, injury? Yeah, we got to talk about our, our, because we have something. Stephanie and I have a lot in common, and now we have something else in common. Ladies and gentlemen, we're boot buddies. That's right. Uh, yeah. So I told you on Monday when I came back from my vacation that I have plantar fasciitis and Achilles tendonitis, and I've been in a boot for about two, three weeks. And then this photograph, uh, Stephanie decided to copy my look, uh, and and you got into a boot. What happened to you? I fell. Oh, there's my boot, Stephanie. Yeah, yeah, yours looks glamorous and sunny. Mine is just sad panda. There's my tanned, hairy yes. leg, everybody. I'm sorry. Yeah. I had the uh, classic middle-aged what? Pickleball injury. <laughs> Did you really? Yes, what, I hurt okay, myself. What did you do? Ball. After, how did this happen? I went to go return my serve, and the ball was coming faster than I was anticipating, and I stepped right on it and went, woof, fell on my side, which is the, the, the side. You have a lot of muscles in your side. So the ankle is getting better, but like when I'm like turning, I'm like, I'm just, I'm so stiff. It's been like nine days. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you. I'm just you laughing at your description. Yeah. I know. I was and, like trying to turn lanes today and I was like, eh. I, and <laughs> can I tell you too, before we move on, first of all, I, how, how, are you, how are you doing? How's I'm your okay. recuperation? It's happening. Hydrotherapy is working. I'm sending you tips. Yeah. Of course, right away I buy like 12 boots, six compression stockings, court, castor oil. I buy all this castor stuff. Castor oil? What are you, Nelly Olson? Yeah, what do you, what you, do you mean the castor oil? Apparently, it really, um, it really reduces inflammation. Did Mrs. Beetle give you her leftover castor oil? <laughs> I'm not drinking it. I'm rubbing. It. Okay. Oh, wow. Kurt must be real yeah, happy this week. He's traveling, so yeah. it's fine. One I'm little alone. quick note, though. Um, on behalf of all your friends who follow you on Instagram, never post your injury photo again. Thank you. We love you. But I was on vacation, and, and Stephanie is so brutally honest about everything everything and it's a great attribute about her but you posted a direct after injury photo of your of your ankle and it looked like you were housing smurfs in I know. your ankle i know yeah. anyway it's, it's getting much better okay now, good okay so let's get on to winter salad let's do it so here winter is tough in minnesota right so, or wherever Chicago got yeah, it is it getting rough. Yes, yes. Even yes. Our, our friends in Orlando, it's I know, like it's 50 cold everywhere, degrees people. There. I'm sorry. Yeah. So here's what we're gonna do. We are going to make some salads where the key ingredients are roasted because they get all roasty and caramelized and toasty. I'm gonna have you do some chopping here. Okay. I'll our go over here. Our first salad is a roasted cabbage salad. So I roasted the cabbage. You're cutting up mint, dill, parsley, all those fresh herbs. Can you smell it? Doesn't it make you feel happy right now? Sure, I'm very happy. Yeah, because it's so minty and light. We're gonna make a little vinaigrette here with a couple tablespoons. Ow! Of I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> that is not even funny to do to a cook. That is just mean. So we have a couple tablespoons of lime juice, a little bit of lemon juice, and I am making this really like bright vinaigrette that we're gonna use to top our cabbage. Okay. It's kind of a little Asian-y. We've got some brown sugar in there. Okay. We have a little white wine vinegar. All these measurements are on the website. I'm just kind of eyeballing here. A little fish sauce. Do you know what fish sauce is? I do know fish. Yes, I love fish sauce. And it's sauce. in a couple of ingredients that we're using today. It's anchovies. But don't freak out. You can do it. It's going to be fine. Well, how am I supposed to do that? Let's just, we have a little chili paste. Okay. 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 It's like a tablespoon. It's not that hot, you guys. Then we have a little olive oil and a little honey. Okay. So we're just making like a little 
vinaigrette. Because again, you firmly believe in making your own salad dressings. Heck yes, yeah. it's so much easier. And I know what's in it. I don't have to worry about like calories or gross preservatives or guar gum or any of that stuff. Okay, I'm just putting in a mason jar and shaking it. What is it. guar gum? It's what they use to thicken things sometimes. It's kind of gross. Oh, okay. Okay, so will you just, um, when we, we're gonna sprinkle our dressing on. Okay. And then we're just gonna toss, and then you're going to scatter, shower our little roasties. Well, I guess if we had one that worked. <laughs> You're going to shower our salad here, our roasted cabbage that we roasted just for about 20 minutes with some of your fresh herbs. Okay, just shower give it. Give it a little shower. And again, this is an Asian inspired yes. dish. There we go. I like the mint in particular. Look, you now, put all of this in there? No, nah, you can That's good. decide That's good. how much That's you like. That's a lot. Now, if you yeah. decide, it is a lot, but it's gonna be delicious. Okay, okay, let's do this. Why don't you pause? Yeah, Okay. Pause. Let's take a break. Let's pay some bills and we'll be back right after this. Back in a moment. We'll finish this up and taste it. Welcome back. We're back with a uh, host of taste buds that you can find on Fox Local. Go get that app. Stephanie Hansen, okay, finishing up this uh, roasted cabbage salad. I ate some during the break. This is real. I would make this tonight. This is real good. This is real fresh, bright. Just bright, like the little tart with the, the tartness of the dressing, the vinaigrette. Add some grilled chicken to that. Yeah, That's or a, a little meal. side of salmon. Yeah. And the herbs are critical. Yeah, they so are. Here is another same type of idea. So when you eat Brussels sprouts shaved. I'm going to have more while yeah, you make that free. one. Okay. When you eat Brussels sprouts shaved, yeah. it's a lot for your digestive system. So I like to add a little bit of roasted too, just because again, I want that kind of roasty toasty bits. So in this recipe, I put half of them raw and then I roast the other half and add croutons and we're gonna make like a Caesar salad out of this, okay? So again, we're and taking- did you make your own croutons too? I did. Yeah. I just roasted them at the same time that I roasted the cabbage. Yeah. So it's easy. It's not hard, you guys. Yeah. Okay. I know. So what we know is that anchovies are in Caesar salad. You can use paste if you don't like to look at them. I understand. We've got a couple of eggs. It's okay. Yeah, we're going to put a little. Is it grossing you out to look at them? Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> I love them, so I'm pretty good about it. But you know what it is? It's that it's the mix of the egg and the fish. And yeah, I mean, right I now that. that ain't attractive. Yep. Yeah. No, I get it. And yeah. but when you make your own dressing and you know exactly what's in it, and you don't have to worry about like all those gross ingredients, you're gonna be happy. So a little bit of mustard. That's fine. I trust the olive oil. Yeah. Yeah. No. Gosh, no. Of all things. Couple little bit of mayonnaise. I like mine extra creamy. Okay. And we've got our cheese in there. We've got our garlic in there. We've got our um, eggs. And I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil and then I'm just gonna blend this up. That's it? Yeah. Okay. And again, this will last in your refrigerator and you'll be so happy that you have your own dressing. Are you stepping backwards because you don't trust me? I don't trust you with that device and... Um... I'm very good with devices. I know you are, but yeah. I have Vitamix, I have air fryers. <laughs> okay, so our dressing Has the again. FCC shut us down yet, Aaron? Is it, a, yeah, okay. You guys are dirty, not me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, contraire, mon frere. <laughs> hey, uh, I've been just, to happy hour with you. Let's yeah. just dress our little Caesar salad there. We're gonna put a little bit of extra cheese on there because we are, I don't know where you're from, but we're from the Midwest and we eat a lot of cheese here. Okay, a little people salt. People everywhere, I mean, you know. I know, I think we People in Orlando eat, eat cheese. I know, yeah. but I think we eat more cheese than most people. Yeah, okay, may I try this? Yeah, let's, uh, we do need a little zhuzh, zhuzh, zhuzh. Oh, okay, zhuzh, zhuzh, zhuzh yeah, it up. There we like, go. We gotta That's really up. great. But so this gives you the roasted cabbage that gives you that crunchy, 
flavor. I'm not crunchy. It gives you that roasty, toasty, caramelized flavor. And the texture of the croutons, the crunch. And I need that in a salad, especially in the winter. I like texture. And that other salad, too, you could top it with peanuts or almonds if you wanted to. But you also get the freshness and the crunch of the real raw Brussels sprouts. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do this. Um, tell people how why I'm eating this. Tell people how they can uh, get these recipes. Yeah, you can find them always at stephaniesdish.com. I have all my recipes there. I have a newsletter that you can subscribe to where you'll get the recipes sent to your inbox every week. It, it's just a little different take on it because we need to keep fresh ingredients going through the winter time. Really good. Yeah. There we go. I'm doing really good. Like I haven't made anything you haven't liked since the pumpkin spice chai. It's been years. <laughs> you can stream Stephanie's show right now, Taste Buds on the Fox Local app. Download that app on your smart TV, Fire TV, Apple TV, Android, or Roku. Give it up for Stephanie Hansen. We'll be right back with my latest best thing ever.